Hello science fans, today we are going to explore something truly electrifying, we are diving into the world of RLC circuits. Now that might sound like a secret code but I promise it is not. It is actually very simple when you break it down. An RLC circuit is a fundamental building block of electronics. It is made of three special parts, we call them a resistor, an inductor, a capacitor. These three components work together in a circuit. They control the flow of electricity in fascinating ways. Think of them as a team, each with a unique job to do. So why should you care about these circuits? Because they are everywhere. They are hidden inside so many of the devices you use every single day. Your radio, your television, your phone. They all rely on the principles of RLC circuits to work their magic. Understanding them is like getting a backstage pass to the world of technology. It helps you see how simple components can create complex and wonderful things. We are going to take a journey step by step to understand each part and how they cooperate. First up on our team is the resistor. Its name gives you a big clue. It resists. A resistor's main job is to control the flow of electric current. Think of electricity through a wire like water in a hose. Squeeze the hose and less water gets through. A resistor does the same for electricity. It squeezes the path for electrons making them harder to flow. That reduces current through that part of the circuit. It's like a traffic controller for electrons. Resistors protect delicate components. Too much electricity can damage parts. The resistor steps in. Whoa, slow down! By limiting current everything runs safely. We measure resistance in ohms. Higher ohms equal sign more resistance. Like making the hose narrower and narrower. You can spot them on a circuit board. Tiny cylinders with colorful stripes. Those stripes aren't decoration. They are a color code. The code tells you the resistor's value in ohms. It converts some electrical energy into heat, that's why devices get warm. Next, let's meet the inductor. The inductor, represented by the letter L, is a fascinating component. It is usually just a coil of wire sometimes wrapped around a core made of iron or another magnetic material. Its superpower is related to magnetism. When electric current flows through this coil, it creates a magnetic field around it. The inductor stores energy in this magnetic field. Think of it like winding up a toy car. You are storing energy in the spring. The inductor stores energy in its magnetic field. It is a bit like an energy savings account for the circuit. The inductor has a very particular personality. It does not like change. Specifically, it resists changes in the flow of current. If the current tries to increase suddenly, the inductor pushes back, trying to keep it steady. If the current tries to decrease, the inductor releases its stored magnetic energy to try and keep the current flowing. It is like a stubborn mule that wants to keep moving at the same speed. This property is called inductance and we measure it in Henry's. Imagine you are pushing a very heavy flywheel. It takes a lot of effort to